I did a video once before about NASA technologies and how they've impacted our lives today. But that really was just a starting point. Here's five more NASA technologies that have changed your life. Astronauts are practically superhuman, but they still need to drink. But water is heavy, and with launches costing about $100,000 per pound of payload, they can't really take a whole lot of it up there. NASA had to find a way to recycle and reclaim as much water as possible, and yes, that means reusing the pee. So they brainiac a really compact and highly efficient water filtration system that's been on the ISS for years now. And today that same technology is being used to provide water filtration systems for developing countries and places with a lot of drought, and it's saving thousands of lives. Saving lives of the less fortunate. Science. One of the ways that astronomers classify stars is by their temperature. But with all the distance between them and us, and all the dust and space that gets in the way, that can be kind of hard. Unless you're looking at the infrared range. Scientists began using infrared telescopes in the 1960s to gauge the temperature of stars, but it wasn't until the 1990s that we began using that same technology to take the temperature of people. The Ditech Corporation worked with Jet Propulsion Laboratory to use their technology to make ear thermometers that can tell your temperature by gauging the infrared heat radiation coming off your eardrum. Which is really popular especially for babies, because before that the only way to take their temperature was, uh... SCIENCE! Keeping in the infrared frequency, planes have a tendency to hit each other, especially in really foggy conditions. So NASA, remember the first A stands for aeronautics, created an infrared sonar system that allowed planes to see through the fog just the way those telescopes can see through the space dust. This same technology is now used by firefighters and first responders to find victims through the smoke that they wouldn't normally be able to see through. Saving lives. Science! Astronauts wear helmets. It's the whole wanting to breathe thing. And the visors of those helmets get scratched, both by just the jostling around inside the space station, but also by tiny micro dust zipping through space. Which is a problem, because of the whole wanting to see thing. So they had three options. Figure out a way to polish glass in space, send up a whole bunch of helmets at a time, or figure out a coating that would keep it from getting scratched. Co-opting a happy accident in their water filtration research, they found a carbon silicate compound that work like a charm. And it didn't take long for glasses manufacturers to put them in their lenses, making them lighter and easier to care for. Science. Most of us just find smoke detectors to be annoying. They're always beeping for a battery change and somehow always in the middle of the night. But imagine if they went off all the time at the slightest sniff of a smoke molecule. That was the reality of the first smoke detectors. They were a pain in the butt and nobody wanted to use them. That was especially a problem for Skylab, the first American space station, because of all the extreme conditions of space, the smoke detectors were constantly going off. And as car alarms have taught us, when things go off too much, you start to just ignore them. Ignoring a fire in a space station Probably not a good idea. So NASA came up with a variable smoke detector technology that made it possible to actually survive on Skylab without losing your mind, and it made it more popular for people to put them up in their homes, which has saved a whole lot of lives. And now it's in all of our homes. Science. Thanks for watching at the Junkin' One for a great question. If you've got a question you'd like to ask, you can ask it in the comments below, or just hit me up on Twitter at Joe Scott Writer, and we can blow some minds together. If you learned something, hit thumbs up, and if this is your first time here and you like it, put a ring on it and subscribe. I'll come back with videos just like this every Monday. As I always say, the world's a fascinating place, and I'm here to bring that interestingness to you, so you guys go out there, have an eye-opening week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Take care.